Sport Edition from Mavs Insider. Things are a little crazy out here tonight. Hi, Mally D. This is Joe Harris. Whoa! I mean, these people right here screaming, these are the painted fans! They get in free to every Mavs game, so if you want to be a painted fan and get in free, you need to get locked in. But in the meantime, it's time for the Week in Review with Cavs Roy. Let's go, Mavs! Let's go, Mavs! It was a date with former Dallas head coach Don Nelson and his Golden State Warriors that started the week that was on Friday night. And as was expected, the highlights came fast and furious. Steven Jackson driving. And they will score it out there, and Maria gets turned away. Block going to the basket for the second time here in this half, and it's a score at the other end for Steven Jackson. See when you... Golden State won at 119 to 110, busting up the Mavs three-game win streak. Look, they're good. They're, they're a hell of a lot better than their record. This is driving me crazy, Ali. I can't believe this. I'm scratching in and filling out. I cannot get these brackets correct. That's because you don't have your basketball knowledge down pat like me. Ali, please, I have plenty of basketball knowledge. All right, you do really have a lot of basketball knowledge, but you know who else knows a lot about the tournament? It is Mr. Jerry Stackhouse. Did you know he actually played in the final four in 1995? That's right, North Carolina, right? Yeah. Yeah, you know, and since we're insiders, who better than to check out Mr. Stackhouse while he fills out his break? What's up, insiders? Let's fill this thing out. All right, first we got UConn, mm, Illinois, Western Kentucky. Uh, Western Kentucky on that one. That's my, that's my first upset. Of course, you know why I'm picking Clemson. Another ACC team. Uh, Washington. Got to pick an upset somewhere. I ain't going to pick it yet. Marquette. Arizona shouldn't even be in the tournament. I've been going, telling JT that all day. Lose, lose five out of their last six games. Come on, man. The Q's in the house, oh my God. Let's go over here. Uh, North Carolina, we don't even have to see, say who they're playing. Let's fill them out all the way to, to the final four. I was wondering where they were. Okay, let's go and put it right here. All right. Now let's see who we're going to beat all the way there. Stephen F. Austin, who is that? <laughs> Always got to go to Gonzaga. They're going to win a game. Louisville. Yes, yeah, so good. I like that. Pittsburgh. I love this team, too. I love Big Blair. I think they're a Final Four team. I'm not going to feel it all the way out yet, man. I don't trust them like that. I don't like Michigan State at all, but they're number two seed, so I'm going to go with that. Watch this. Watch this. Let's take Xavier in the Final Four. Yeah, man. It got, it got funky real fast, didn't it? You know what I'm saying? None of it matters. <laughs> Washington. But uh, I'm going to go. They watch and go to the final four. I'm big in the guard play when it comes to the tournament. I mean, it's great to have big guys, but if you get two guards that are playing well, you can advance. And I got West, West of Kentucky, team that's been sleeping, sleeping on. My brother got this pick. He said, watch with West of Kentucky. So that's why I'm riding with them all the way to the Elite Eight. And of course, I got UNC. It really didn't matter who I filled out up here, but I think we will have a tough test if Ty Lawson is healthy. When was the last time you didn't have UNC in your bracket in the Final Four? Um, last year. I mean, I had them in the Final Four. I didn't have them winning it. <laughs> <laughs> so, but, uh, you know, I'm, it's, it's hard for me to go against the grain, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I bleed blue, but that's uh, the right color blue, Carolina blue, not that stinky, dookie blue. <laughs> B-A-Y-U and UNC. Put it in there. Put it in there. Just put my name on it and sign off. I see you 
on April 6th. Bring me my money. That was off the chain. Now we know that stack is clearly like it's a shocker going to take North Carolina in his bracket. And in fact, we have the one right here autographed, John Hancock and all. And wow. you could be a winner of this actual bracket. All you have to do is go to our brand new email address we set up. It's MavsInsider at FoxSports.net. We're going to start taking questions from you, the viewer, and posing them to the players, the coaches, and more. Be sure you email your questions to us. And uh, one of you lucky viewers is actually going to win this bracket right here. It's real simple. If you want to know what type of car Dirk drives, you know, what Jet Terry eats for breakfast is simple, just shoot us an email. That's right, send us an email and hey, let's talk to Dana Larson. She's got the rest of the story. Want to take home the actual sign Jerry Stackhouse NCAA tournament bracket? Hey, Ro. Yes, Allie. I was wondering where you got your name. Ro? Ro. Well, it's really simple. See, my dad's name was Ro, so mm -hmm. naturally he named me Ro. So why uh, were you so Ro? Like, why'd you want to know? I thought you might be named after a certain Ro Blackman, who was one of the most amazing Dallas Mavericks player ever and actually had his jersey retired. Yes, number 22 is high in the Raptors. And of course, like any Mavericks fan, that's name is Ro. Of course, I love Ro. You love Ro. And he recently got recognized for something very special. Rolando Blackman's number 22 jersey hangs proudly in the rafters at the American Airlines Center in Dallas. He is one of only two Dallas Mavericks to have their number retired, but it is now Blackman's turn to stand alone as the first Maverick inducted in the Texas Sports Hall of Fame. Play smart, play together. Learn to play like the pros at Dallas Mavericks Hoop Camp. Boys and girls ages 8 to 18 experience fast-paced, challenging fun. It's the area's only authentic NBA camp with 17 locations in North Texas. The Mavericks have made it a good family atmosphere. It's Mavs Hoop Camp, presented by Academy Sports. Call 214-747-MAVS or sign up at Mavs.com. For Dallas Mavs Hoop Camp, where kids always win. Then it's another battle against a Western Conference team battling for playoff seating when the Nuggets come to the AAC on Friday night. Oh, man, you know these Warriors, they always give us fits. Nelly and the boys, we got to get back at them, Alex. Husky Warriors. Yes. Remember, don't forget to email us at MavsInsider at FoxSports.net for any questions you might have. We will pass those on to the players, the coaches, maybe something for Ro, maybe something for me. You never know. Just email us, MavsInsider at FoxSports.net. Well, that is it for this week's edition of Mavs Insider. I am so sad, but don't worry. We will be back next week. I'm Allie Dean. This Bro. is Ro. Paris.